Good morning, champions. Happy Wednesday morning coming to you live from the 5 a.m. club where we get up early and we conquer our morning to own our day. Wild card Wednesday, hump day, whatever you want to call it. Um, it's, it's a fantastic time, like we were talking about yesterday, to do those self audits, to look at yourself, to look at where you're at um, and what you're accomplishing and make sure that you're on track for it or make those adjustments going forward. Um, had a surprise contest uh, get launched yesterday, so a lot of, of uh, excitement, a lot of momentum um, for that. It's always nice to have uh, a little contest there. My little tip for the day is um, I'm not even a baseball guy. Never really have been, just never really got into it. I think growing up in Florida, we don't really have baseball on here. Um, but uh, sorry to the Marlins and the Rays. But um, obviously, they were pushing the Aaron Judge thing everywhere, right? So if you were watching TV pretty much on, on most channels, they'd keep updated. The news kept updated. And, and yesterday, he hits a 60-second home run. They've been tracking that. It's historic. It's exciting. But what I noticed and what I paid attention to is I got updated on it a lot, which means he'd been chasing it for a little bit. And obviously it's historic and it's not easy to hit home runs and I get it. But the correlation that I want to make here is when when pressure gets mounted like that, right? When everybody starts paying attention or, or in, in you in your mind think everyone's looking at you, everyone's watching you, everyone's doing this, it can make things difficult. And what... Rory always used to tell me was getting back to the basics, right? If I was back to I think he and I just talked about this like last Tuesday. When you start to feel pressure, when you start to feel that like, oh man, I haven't made a sale, it's Wednesday, or you know, I, I can't get to my 5k goal or my 10k goal or whatever it is, and it starts to become something you're obsessing on, it starts to change how you approach things, right? And so they were talking about how Aaron Judge was starting to swing at pitches he wouldn't normally swing at. He was getting desperate. He was trying to hit it and all that stuff. And getting back to the basics and sales, sometimes we get that, you know, what, what can be called like commission breath, where we start to just get so obsessed on that sale that we start to adjust our approach and the things that we're trying to do. And we try and, and take shortcuts and we try and, and get there quicker. And what that does is it has the opposite effect, right? Because then the clients don't don't buy us, they don't like us as much, um, they don't have as much trust in us, and so therefore, the opposite of what we're trying to do often happens. And so I just wanted to remind everybody today that if you're trying to chase that 60 second home run, if you're trying to do those things, if you're trying to hit a certain goal today or something, don't let it make an adjustment to yourself or to, to how you do things, right? Get back to the basics, stick to the strip, stick to the script, slow down, enunciate, make sure that you're still taking your time and you're, and you're selling yourself and you're having that voice inflection and you're doing all those things and don't let the pressure of what you're trying to accomplish today or this week or anything like that alter your flow and aspire to be better today than you were yesterday, always improving and you'll be amazed at where you end up. So hope that little tidbit helped today. Hope you have a fantastic day. See everybody for the wheel spins tomorrow. Let's have a day. See you soon. I'm out. Woo!